that's on a move. And I want to work on his head. Simple as that. The hip. If I try to work in anything above the belt, it's not going to work. Anything that I try to do from here, my arms are exposed. The very important is number one is keep the elbows in front of his leg, not on top. Right here. Anytime I move my hip, his body has to move. And anytime he squeezes me so much in the knee, I turn. See now where his body weight is now. Here, that means he is the light part of the body. Block the hip to move away. Then I have space that my legs be, has to be between his body and my body. Now he's 100% safe for me. Then now I consider I'm escape. For any time, I don't have to hurry up to escape. Any adjustment he tries to do, my second leg comes out. Sometimes you get the leg stuck, oh, I gotta get my leg out. Wait, as soon as you move, I get the leg out. The idea behind is how can I unbalance him? Okay, number one, he's not touching me, he's just in a mount position. We're gonna do two options. First one, my hands on the center, he can even hold his belt, whichever side. He's not touching me, now I move my feet to the side of my arm. I gotta come up on my elbow. On the hip, nothing he can do to hurt my arm or get anything. And number two, and either one, my feet takes aside, is the hip bone. Right here, same thing. See his weight's on that side, light weight on that side. My leg comes off. Do I want to do that? Yes, I can. He wants to come back. Second leg comes up. All right, that's what we're gonna do first. I have the choice to one hand, come up on my elbow, or two hands on the hip. And notice that either one of my elbows were close to me, nothing higher. All right, let's start with that one. Try to match size as a partner. It's very helpful to have a collar belt with a white belt, okay? One, two, three. Notice when I mount, if I try to go here without moving, change the angle, I end up trying to push him. Walk your feet, and now make sure you stretch your leg on the mat. And how you do it, you see my foot position? This is the position I want you guys to get. My foot is sideways. I have this motion now. And now my head go towards the person's leg. I wanna block the hip and lower. I'm doing this. Then out the hip, and create this. And bring your knee as a shield. Don't try to bring your leg out for half guard. I wanted that as a shield. Now my hand can be anywhere. And as soon as I raise, you see that he loses his balance. Then I can get my second leg out. Now his hands are on the ground. Which now if I try to push, I have a hard time. Now what I wanna do is I move to the side Notice my elbows are close to me. Now when I stretch my leg, I touch my elbow on the ground. Here, okay? And the most common thing that almost every time I do this is the person cross face. Now I right away look my legs. Right here, the shin. Once I have the shin, no matter what he does, I'm out. Can I stretch my body and trap his leg? Yes. Anytime he trying to adjust himself, my leg comes out and control. But I start this way, as soon as he block, then go to the opposite side. Now we do, we're going to do a few times, he's not blocking me, but I want to make sure I understand that move, elbow, and the hip. I'm going into him. See, it's the hip. Now my leg comes in, block. Don't try to get your foot out. He will do the rest for you. Whatever he tries to do, he helps me, okay? Don't worry about, all oh, my legs is stuck over there. All I need is this. Anything he does, then I can pop my leg out. He mounts, walk, as soon as I stretch, turn. Anytime cross face, walk, 
this elbow. Get your shin out. One, two, three. After my neck. And keep in mind, it's very hard for him to finish if I have my elbows in this position. If my elbows are here and he moves up a little, now it's very hard for me to defend. Even if I put my hand over here, it's a lot of pressure towards me. I wanna make sure this, every movement he does, I bump my hip. He has to use the hands. And every daily my hands are controlling that arm. I wanna make sure that the elbow, I don't let him go this way. I'm blocking the elbows, I'm holding, and my elbows are against my body, no matter what. Now, if you then we have the very basic movement that is strap the arm, but the mount scape when you hold the arm only works if his head is between the frame of my shoulders. If his head's outside and I'm trying to escape, it's, it's heavy, he's way off. But anytime his head moves between, now he loses balance. The challenge is, he knows that, I always shrug. This way when I shrug, even if he gets a second hand, is in my face. If I don't shrug, gets under my chin. Okay? So hold, shrug. Don't hold and stretch like this, because now my neck is way out. Shrug in here. The challenge is I trap his foot, and the only reason I can do that is because I keep him low enough because if my elbow's over here, a lot of times people are like, oh, I can't catch his foot. That means he's too high. And to move up, you go this way. Now is the catch. See my foot over here? His head is outside my shoulder. How can I make his head come inside the frame of my shoulder? I'm start doing this. Look where he is now. And I base this foot and turn. And once I turn, do not raise your head now. I have to block here first. If I try to raise now, he's gonna unbar me or even choke. Okay, get on top, block. Now I can raise my head. Once you get blue belt, purple belt, that escape becomes harder and harder. Because he learned how to balance himself. But every time they go here and here, and see how I move my shoulder? And what will help with two halfway to is my elbow pushing his hip. Okay? And I get on top and block right away. Okay? And one thing that is very easy, and we think about it, is mounting. He's not holding my collars yet. 99% of people use their right hand in the collar. Right? Go back. If I already know that, I block and I move my head this way. Then when he grabs my collar, he's already giving me the way out. I position myself expecting that to come, not this way. Now he puts the head, look how far his head is from that way. I already know he's gonna use the right hand. I keep moving my head this way. So as he grab the right hand, here we go. And block. Okay, two options. Move your frame or expect the hand to come towards your neck. Okay, let's do it. Then we have one more in training time. Okay, one, two, three. In the off balance, not center. Because now he's perfectly centered. His hand's over here, he's there, and many times he's not just bumping my hip, but I'm literally turning sideways like this. Don't fall mine. He has to base, and all his weight is here. That means here gets very light. Many times I try to throw him off, just to do this. Now I get that leg out. Make sure right away, instead of retreat like this, crush me. See what happened? Go back. When I get my leg out, my hand goes here, crush me. Then my second leg comes out. Okay, once you get your leg out, don't worry about your arms being too far out. I just block, 
He can't touch his chest on me. Okay, one more time. How can I make him have more weight in one side of his body? I'm not trapping his foot. Now literally I wanna roll. Don't fall, man. Oh, you're falling. <laughs> See, if you don't block, you're gonna fall. But if you put more weight over there, block the leg and move your hip. One thing very common that I do all the time based on that control is I intentionally turn my body sideways because what they do, they raise their leg. I already know that. Notice my hands are here, but I have to time in perfectly in a way to make sure it works. I'm over here. As soon as I get my hand, I turn. I move. That elbow is touching the ground. Now, you're out. I want him to put his foot up. But as soon as he put his foot up, look how my leg works. Elbow on the ground. Let me move. Eleven out of ten, that skip works for me. <laughs> Just to see, because I, I kind of bait you. As soon as I turn, boom. See the foot? I'm low. My arm is up. I'm giving to him. And the key thing is, as soon as I turn, boom, see where my arms are? Put, put the foot. It's not going to go higher than that. All right? That will be saving your life many times. Trust me, as soon as I go turn, people, but you have to time. Okay, let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Time. Okay, as soon as you get the hand, good, I'm blocking his arm, shrug. My hand has to come underneath. Now I stretch my leg and turn. As soon as you raise, look how my feet goes. And not only I can go, I don't want you guys to sit up to go after him, no. I stay down. Anytime he tries to come back, look, my hands are even underneath me. You can go to many directions there. But the key is the time I block, I get under, then I turn. As soon as he raise, move your feet at the same time. Here, this is the key. Don't keep your elbow up. And from here, you can do this. If you try to come back, you can even go underneath. Let's do it again. Timing is a must for you to succeed doing that. The legs are doing the job. Who's out? Some of you guys hurry up. As soon as I do this, I'm doing this. His legs not even moving away from his body. As soon as I get there, his foot is there. Look how far his foot goes. Even if he tried to mount again, now look, you can't. So much space. Okay, don't hurry up to roll to the person, no. As soon as he goes, I want to make his foot go as far as possible. But the only way that he does not follow me is by putting this elbow on the ground. Because some of you guys are not doing that. I turn, my elbow is here. No, elbow is here. Now look his leg. Right here, his leg gets all the way straight. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Before I come up with, what if he does that? <laughs> what if, if he, he hasn't finished the first technique already, oh, jumping the gun, yeah? Can you see it, Mark? There we go. One more time. Follow my cue, okay? I'll tell you. As soon as you go, go ahead and make the move. Stop. Put your feet there. Both. Now, your feet stays, your hip goes right there. That was much bigger. See the difference? How I'm going to recover now. I want him to do that first. If I, halfway through, he's doing the technique, I'm already know he's doing I switch. Mm -hmm. He hasn't finished the first one, you already jump into another one. Okay? As soon as he goes, he put the elbow block there. There we go, go for it. And he's gonna learn how to do it. It's like a foundation. This is the first one he has to learn to be able to do the others. But if I keep changing every time, he's not learning nothing. Then he's gonna be doing everything wrong. I stay harder. I don't wanna change anything. He goes, boom. 
That's it. After you get good at this, let's move on. Now, what if the guy hold this way and do that? Then he has a foundation now that he's going to be able to do it. Okay? But this is the number one for you to understand how to move first. And from that point, oh, he let it go, the collar. Do this. Oh, he's doing, do that. But this is the beginning of all the movements you're going to do. Okay? Every round of our training starts from the mount. Mm -hmm. Everything be helpful to the newer guys, but every round mount. If any question regarding some different way of people mount to you that you have a challenge time. Any mount position that, oh, the guy does this, the guy does that. Because if it happened during the training too, let's do it again. I want to make sure you guys get a lot of answers for questions that you might have. Okay? Okay, we're good. Perfect. Yes, sir. Uh, I tend to, when I'm escaping, can I borrow your point? <clears throat> When, when I'm escaping and I get to here on my side. Okay, look how far your right elbow is. Okay. Your right elbow has to be parallel. Look at this. Here. Okay. If I go any pass in this way, you might be in trouble. Okay. I'm right here. My elbow's gluing me here. So here? Yeah. Now I use my hip. Nothing he can do. You understand? But if I move my elbow away from my body, then problems will start happening. Okay. Okay, because first thing you did was this. So can I borrow your mark? Yes, sir. I turn. No matter how much I move my hip, nothing's gonna change. Because he's following me. My elbow is here. Now, can you choke me? See, see the time I have to defend? He puts his hands on my body. I move. You understand? Yeah. But if my arms are here. And that, that answers the full question. I was going to say they often end up on my back. And another thing, you guys, before you escape, you already want to get on top. Certain positions, I'm not going to be able to get on top. If I get all this far with Mark, I get here. Some of you guys are doing this, take my back. I'm sitting up, I mean, I'm helping him. No, I get this far. Mount, please. I get over here. I'm not in a hurry to go. If I sit up, he takes my back with my arm. I want to escape first. You guys are too greedy. I want to escape, get the mount. No, save yourself first. Now, once I have my legs between, then I can sit up now. It's okay. But sometimes we do the right move, sit up. Then back take it. Okay? That, that answers all the questions. Thank you. All right. Make sure you're starting always mounting. It's the only way for us to learn how to defend ourselves from the mount is somebody mounting you. That's why it's important as a higher belt, I get somebody lower belt, I let them mount me as 100 times, then I keep practicing my escape. <clears throat> okay? Uh, be helpful to the new guys, the newer guys. Okay? Get your mouthpiece, your headgear, your coffee, acai, fruit of the conjure juice. Right, Joe? I took a picture, but I, I forgot to say.